Palcohol. Since it received federal approval, this product has been making headlines locally and nationally. By now, you know what it is. It's a powdered form of alcohol that can be mixed with any liquid to create an alcoholic drink. Almost immediately, there was discussion to ban the substance in Indiana, and on Wednesday, unanimously, the proposal advanced that would ban it in this state. And remember, this is all before the product has even hit the shelves. Main concerns with this product? Easy concealment, underage drinking, regulating the product, the list goes on. But what about our viewers? What do they think? We received an overwhelming response on our WTHI Facebook page. Some voiced opinions in favor for the product, stating powder would just be easier to deal with. But many are agreeing with the ban, stating they just don't see the point in the product, don't want to see the product misused, and many other concerns. Now I know this is a hot topic and I know we're going to hear more about this in the future, but let's switch gears and dive right into our digital download with News 10's Chris Essex. Thank you, Jade. Now, anyone that knows me knows that I love to play video games. So that's why I'm so excited about this latest announcement from Nintendo. Earlier this week, Nintendo announced they are bringing their iconic games to the smartphone and tablet market. Previously, you could only play their games if you owned one of their devices. Many experts are blaming financial issues within the company for the change of heart. You can expect to see these games making their way to your devices in the fall. Kevin, John, now am I going to be seeing either one of you playing Mario or Zelda on your smartphone or tablet? No, Chris, I don't think so. Not I, gamers. Yeah, I'm waiting for Pong. To, you know, if they, they bring back Pong, then maybe I'll do it. They've got the old-fashioned Ataris being sold at Kroger. That's what you need to get. Well, maybe I'll head out there. 